He is one of the greatest shot stoppers in football history, but he's also a man who could have died on the football pitch. And yet Petr Cech went on to win four league titles and a Champions League. Let's explore the complete story of one of Premier League's greatest ever goalkeepers. Cech dealt with adversity before he was even born. He was born a triplet, which resulted in him having a weaker skull than everyone else. But that didn't stop him from dreaming big. His love for football started at the young age of seven, playing as a striker for Victoria Pilsen. But Czech's dreams of becoming the greatest striker in Czech Republic history ended well before he expected. When he was just 10 years old, he broke his leg playing a match for the youth team, keeping him on the sidelines for a very long time. Czech realized he could never fully recover from this injury, losing all his pace and power necessary to make it as a striker. But he did have exceptional height for his age, so he decided instead to strap up some gloves and become a goalkeeper. In 1999, Czech said goodbye to Pilsen and said hello to Shamel Bulshani, also in the first division of the Czech Republic. Even though the Czech we all know didn't allow many shots past him, his debut match was a 3-1 loss against Sparta. But Czech knew that his career would have to take baby steps at the beginning before he grew into a superstar. 27 appearances later, Czech was able to make the next big step in his career. In 2001, he signed a five-year contract with Sparta Prague, one of the best teams in the league. Czech quickly got confident on his new team and wasted no time showing everyone what he was capable of. He broke the record formerly held by Theodor Reimann for the longest time without conceding a goal in the Czech Professional League, setting a new record of 903 minutes. Unfortunately, Sparta missed out on the league title by just one point, but it was still a season to remember for Czech, as he helped his team concede the fewest goals of the 2001 to 2002 season. It's true that the Czech league is one of the weakest leagues in Europe, but Petr Cech soon got his chance to shine on the big stage. At the Under-21 European Championships in 2002, he led his team all the way to the grand final, where they faced off against a tough French team. The game went all the way to a penalty shootout, and Czech was called to step up for his team. Both teams scored their first kicks, but what transpired next would elevate Czech to legend status for his country. He saved the next three kicks to earn the Czech Republic their first title at youth level. It was clear that Czech was meant for more. He was meant for the big leagues, and he finally got the opportunity he was waiting for. In July of 2002, Czech moved to Rennes, a team in first division of France. Czech continued to turn heads during his first season in Rennes. He was awarded Man of the Match against PSG in a stunning performance, which put him on the map. In the following season, Czech helped Rennes escape relegation as they beat Montpellier in the final match day. Czech was one of the best keepers in the league, but he soon realized that being on a relegation threatened side just wasn't enough for him. He wanted more, and that's exactly when he got an offer from a Premier League team. In February of 2004, Rennes agreed to Czech's move to Chelsea for $7 million. He had become the most expensive goalkeeper in Chelsea's history, but now had extra pressure to succeed. As the current number one, Carlo Cudicini suffered a pre-season elbow injury. This was Czech's moment to prove himself, and he wasted no time showing his quality in his first season with the Blues under new manager Jose Mourinho. But he didn't just help Chelsea keep one clean sheet. From December of 2004, all the way to March of 2005, Petr Cech failed to concede a single goal in that time period, setting a brand new Premier League record of 1,025 minutes without letting in a goal. Not only was he lighting up domestic football, but Cech continued to show the entire world just how good he was. At Euro 2004, he helped Czech Republic go all the way to the semi-finals, an insane accomplishment for a country that rarely performs well. They lost to eventual winners Greece, but Czech's performances earned him a spot in the All-Star team as the best goalkeeper throughout the tournament. It seemed like Chelsea's reign of dominance in England would never come to an end, as the team was packed to the brim with superstars like Drogba, Terry and Lampard. But it was on 14th October 2006, where Czech learned how a career can change with just one moment. In a league game against Reading, Czech chased down a clearance and was ready to claim the ball. But Reading player Stephen Hunt refused to back out of the 50-50 and his knee collided with Czech's forehead viciously. He suffered a depressed skull fracture from this collision, with the doctors later reporting that it nearly cost Czech his life. Fortunately, Czech made a speedy recovery. But Chelsea, however, announced that their goalkeeper would be out for three months, in line with medical advice. But Czech would make his comeback in a Premier League match in January 2007, wearing an iconic rugby-style headguard, the first protective headwear to ever be worn by a keeper. Although Czech lost his comeback game, he was able to relaunch his career soon after. He kept eight clean sheets from January to April, going 810 minutes without conceding a goal. Czech's recovery was remarkable, and if you thought that was impressive, check this out. Peter Czech 
became the first goalkeeper to keep a clean sheet at the new Wembley, as Chelsea beat United 1-0 to win the FA Cup. As if that wasn't enough. In 2008, Czech officially completed 100 games for Chelsea without conceding a goal. He was soon on his way to becoming a Chelsea legend and the greatest goalkeeper in the club's history. As Mourinho departed the club, a special manager in his own right signed for the Blues, Carlo Ancelotti, and the season was one to remember for Czech. In the FA Cup final against Portsmouth, he saved a crucial penalty to help his team win their second silverware of the season. And in another title race with Manchester United, it was Chelsea once again, who emerged as Premier League champions. Ever since he debuted, Petr Cech had taken England by storm, and it was only a matter of time before fans and pundits declared him as the best goalkeeper in Premier League history. But as his rival in Edwin van der Sar continued to dominate with United, Cech knew he needed more. He needed a Champions League medal to cement himself as undoubtedly one of the greatest goalkeepers of his generation. And in 2012, he got his opportunity, but he had to get past none other than prime Barcelona, lead by Lionel Messi. Chelsea's legends were all past their primes and were expected to be manhandled by Guardiola's men. They had no choice but to park the bus and ride their luck, which is exactly what they did. In the second leg, they were able to battle with 10 men to overcome Barca, facing Bayern Munich in the final. But as Bayern were awarded a penalty in extra time, it was looking like Czech's dreams of winning the big one was over. Chelsea's hopes rested on his shoulders to rise to the occasion, and as Robin stepped up, Czech was able to keep his team in the game by going the right way. Nothing could separate the sides in 120 minutes, meaning, just like in the 2008 final, the destination of the trophy would be decided by spot kicks, but Bayern seemed sharp. Three penalties taken, three penalties scored, Czech knew he had to step up soon, and he did exactly that. He denied Ivica Olic, which proved to be an important save to help Chelsea win the Champions League. Now there was no doubt. Petr Cech was in the history books as one of the greatest goalkeepers the world has ever seen. As Cech called time on his illustrious career, he can look back and be proud of everything he accomplished. Four Premier Leagues, five FA Cups, four Golden Gloves and a Champions League. And he achieved all of this while suffering a major injury in the middle of his career. You know, I remember when Mourinho first signed him and everyone was like, who's, who's this guy? And after four or five games, everyone knew who who, who Petr Cech was and his career. Look at that clean sheet record out of the games he's played. That's absolutely incredible. You know, and that's no coincidence. He, yes, he's played in front of, uh, sorry, in front of behind outstanding yeah. defences and teams, but that clean sheet record is absolutely incredible and he'll, he'll be remembered as a top, top goalkeeper in, in, the, in the Premier League.